I like working with DPTs, I'll be honest with you. Uh, a lot of them come out and they, when they first start, they had their stuff, they learned a lot of good things about, you know, to fix people, but they didn't lose, learn sometimes right part two, if I'm wrong on that. Um, yeah. So right. not long ago, a DPT took me out to lunch. It was really a good day. So I, I was born with a condition called pistol grip hips. That means from the day I was born, I was going to have two total hip replacements. Uh, it's in my family. My niece had to deal with it when she was about a year and a half old. Uh, it just kind of depends. It, and so he, he asked a good question. He said, well, you know, how did we help in physical therapy? And if you guys don't mind, I'll, 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 I'll say, you guys are good at two spots. Uh, and we use the semaphore. So when I first came to, there was a physical therapist there to help me get my legs over and get me on the, the walker and encourage me. We went with my with the new, new modern techniques with a total hip replacement. I think I went 200 meters the first time because it was the first time I'd been out of pain. Mm -hmm. So maybe I was pushing it with the IV bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ass hanging out the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the damn thing in my <laughs> funny area, that little, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, seat hot tub time machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, the physical therapy is very good in the red light situation. Uh, you know, I got great advice about using the rail going downstairs for a while. I got great advice about, you know, just like, for example, putting my hand up, like, bring the leg over into the shower and stuff like that. And later, about five or six months later, you guys were real good at the green light situation, saying, you know, now you're free to go play with tasks of fitness, you know, which you just, you know, the ability to do a task. And, not necessarily performance, but I did anyway. The middle part, the yellow, so you guys are real good at the stop line, and you guys are real good at the you know, go take on the world, but the middle part was where we, we, in fact, this is a great conversation because I came up with the following. I said, at Thanksgiving, I have 18 bags of groceries, okay? And I have to take those bags of groceries from my car up 10 stairs, not 10 flights of stairs, just 10 stairs into my kitchen. The bags weigh between 10 and 20 pounds each. So this is what I said, and I hope you guys might like this. I said, you know, hi, I'm Dan John. I'm going to take all 18. I'm going to strap them up, you know, get them all the way down. <laughs> no. And yeah. I'm going to do one flight of 10 with 365 pounds. Put them on the kitchen table be done with them. Someone listening might say, you know, I would do one bag at a time. So 18 trips, 180 stairs, 10 to 20 pounds. Got it? Yep. For me, what the yellow light is the matrix. One trip, 10 stairs, 360, 18, 18 trips, 180 stairs, 10 to 20 pounds each. That jumble of numbers in there is where I think that you guys and me guys can sit down and talk with. Right. That ability for somebody to have the, that matrix of Okay, I'm just going to pick up four. Four is too many, I'm going to do two. Two is too light, but if I have a, a two tens in one hand and a 20 in the other, you get that? <laughs> yeah. 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 And to me, that's where that's the area in physical, uh, in physical therapy that I think we need to talk more about. Is not, I'm not just clear, but I have the ability to make decisions mm -hmm. uh, in real time, in real life. That, and that does happen. Bags of groceries, uh, bringing out the Christmas presents, putting Christmas away. Those are all things that show up and we need more and we need more. Uh, we need a bigger. Yeah. I like that matrix, uh, uh, you know, rainbow of things, you know, it's not, you're fine. You're effed somewhere. We need more. We need more gray. Mm -hmm. And for me, you, we can work together on gray. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we call that the continuum, right? Would be the matrix oh. or the, is a like a continuum <laughs> process, right? Where there's a start and there's there's your point of the yellow zone and then there's this this end really green zone. Couldn't agree more. And I think that's the the state of the profession uh, across the U.S. for sure in so many cases. And it's it's for us it's super frustrating. Uh, it's one of the reasons we're here and what we've developed. What we've developed is to, is to bridge that gap and. And to where we started and what you bring to the table, it's so cool because that's 
that is what's needed is this is this blend of hey you know one thing to get rid of range of motion get range of motion back and get out of pain yes that's a great okay out of the red light space so to speak right but now we've actually got to build some strength in here and get this body fortified so it can tolerate some forces tolerate some load we can do some work and then can we add some speed can we add some power can we add some velocity and and, and then then if ultimately can we get back into chaos or can we get back into to competition right yeah 